Happy Sunday, everyone. It's Josh here, Jace Dottlemeyer One, with a few pickups, T206 Hall of Fame pickups to show you guys, and also to recap uh, my prior video where I talked about if I had $300 to spend, what I would spend it on. It ended up being a couple T206s, and also a couple new things in my background, uh, gifts for Christmas for my wife, the uh, Topps picture bubblegum baseball tin which is really cool i noticed a lot of the other collectors have it mike baseball collector has it and a really awesome uh, sports illustrated story of baseball top 100 photographs so uh those are pretty cool gifts from my wife uh so i was pretty pretty excited about that so that's my new background here but let's get started with some of the cards i'll have to give a little info on each of the players i pick up but most of the pickups are players that I already have or second player cards but my first uh my first card that I used some of my e-bucks on is, hopefully this will focus better than last time, my Clark Griffith portrait, SGC4. Again, it doesn't look like things are focusing again. It's a 150 subject Piedmont back. Clark Griffin, as I'd spoken in the past, Seven seasons with 20-plus wins. He helped engineer, you know, first player strike. Um, he was the owner of the Senators, player manager. Critical factor in the American League. And one of the first guys to record a pitcher speed with an Army device. Next up is another player that I own as well. A little bit more interesting story with this card. I... Uh, to Rube McQuard, hands at the thighs. Like I said, sorry about the terrible focus on my phone. Draws me nuts every video, and then I end up usually deleting. Um, it's a 150 subject, SGC4. With this card, actually, I went to the Hilliard, Ohio show last weekend, and I picked up a Elmer Flick for my uh, T206 collection. But it was a PSA four, but I had a real good build a good real good rapport with a new uh, collector dealer that I'd not had experience with, and we kind of hit it off. And I wanted to buy a card off of him, but I'm doing my entire collection in SGC on my T206 Hall of Fame subset. So uh, I linked up with a, a local guy actually that I'd not met or seen at shows, but uh, he's a member of Net 54, and he needed Elmer Flick, so we ended up. Uh, Working out a trade on the PSA for Elmer Flick for this Rube Mark Hard and a couple of dollars in my favor, um, which is good because um, my pickups are going to be slowing down. Uh, I'm working really hard. I'm going to a Strongsville, Ohio show late March and uh, hoping the tax man's good to me. I've got big uh, plans on hoping to make my first Cobb purchase or at worst a nice Johnson card to add to my collection. Next up's Roger Breshahan. His portrait card, like I said, his focus is really driving me nuts. And it's a SGC4, Sweet Capo Row, 350 subject. The Duke of Traley, um, player manager, 1905 World Series with the Giants. Um, Catcher for Christy Mathewson, who I want one of the first ads in my collection. Next up's another pretty cool card. Um, this was actually a part of the E-Bucks as well. And this card has a little more interesting story. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Sky Dash collection. This, uh, this was a dealer that kind of seemed too good to be true. It popped up with tons of pre-war pre vintage tobacco cards, coins. Um, lots of Shoeless Joe Jacksons and whatnot. And he popped up on Net54, I think about 10 years ago, and uh, kind of sounded like a too-good-to-be-true deal, but this card is out of that collection. And it's a Chief Bender in a three, one of the first Native Americans in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Bender won six World Series. Had six World Series wins, pitched a no-hitter in 2010. Um, also, the first pitcher, he was said to have created the slider. And as you can see, I'm showing here, I hadn't had this back yet. This is an old mill back. So I was really excited to get this card as well. 
And there's a chief bender. I uh, figured that would happen. We'll uh, set this up here. And slide these guys over. Last but not least is a, a two card pickup of a single player. Single player and manager, actually one of the greatest managers of all time when he left the sport. John McGraw was the all time winningest manager in baseball. Um, nickname of the little Napoleon. <laughs> he was a very, very small guy in stature, but a very, very high strung, high tempered, both player and manager. Um, McGraw spent 30 years co as the head coach of the, the Giants. Um, interesting fact about McGraw when I was doing some research on him as well as he's third all time on base percentage. Um, he was a star infielder for the Orioles in the late 1800s. And actually, to this day, he still has the third highest, or excuse me, the first and the highest batting average ever of uh, any third baseman in Major League history. I'm going to show you his portrait first. And SGC3, got really nice reds. So but like I said, my phone just does not pick up well lately. I'm not sure what the deal is with my lighting or... So it's a really nice portrait card. All these cards I showed you today is usual are crease free and sharp colors. This is a 150 subject McGraw. And my last McGraw was actually another net 54 pickup. It's been a blessing for me to join that site. And it's a uh, John McGraw. I mean, I said Tim earlier. I know I'm pretty good for doing that lately. It's a John McGraw finger in the air. Really, really great centering on this card. It's a nice example. Like I said, unfortunately, with the uh, phone not focusing as I'd like, it's not always the easiest to see. Another reason why I picked up this card is uh, this is my first Sovereign back. It's a Sovereign. There's two different types of greens. The Sovereign, this is the lighter green. And it's a 350 subject. Again, guys, I, I apologize for the lack of clarity and, and the cards. Hope you guys can see them all right, though. And any uh, questions, comments, feedback, um, I appreciate all the likes and subscriptions. And uh, I just passed 100 followers, and it uh, means a lot to me. And I've been enjoying watching you guys' Hall of Fame nominations. But hopefully <clears throat> hopefully enjoy taking a look at the cards, taking a look at the cards, and uh, enjoy your Sunday. Thanks.